What's up guys, it's Tracky here. Um, today I'm going to try to make this a pretty quick and simple tutorial. Uh, I got asked on this edit I did the other day called Brick Squad uh, for a con an editing contest entry to a... Uh, well, it wasn't really to make a tutorial, but it said how do you do that Twitch thing. So, um, I've been thinking about making tutorials for a while now. And, uh, yeah, also down here is that editing tutorial question mark. Yes, er, but anyway, uh, so as you can see here, uh, right there, you can see the screen kind of shaking. Um, that's basically what it is. Uh, and I already kind of, I I was doing another tutorial, but it was like seven minutes long, and I don't want it to be that long, so I'm trying to rush this kind of. Um, here's what I did. I did it on a... Um, Leftover from my Vatican RC. So I didn't do it on that. I did it on a uh, kill cam. So you see that? That's, that's a pretty decent uh, twitch for Sony Vegas considering there's no plug in. It's all key framing. Uh, so you see here, I already made it. Uh, I just put Twixter on this because it's a really nice reload. So I wanted some Twixter on there. But anyway, um, all you're going to do is you're just going to find about the muzzle flash where he shoots. Um, and you're going to go in here to your keyframes, or your event pan crop. Uh, your, here's your first keyframe, actually we'll go to the first keyframe. Um, you're just going to want to zoom it in a little bit. And then you're just going to kind of want to drag it into any corners. As you can see I did here, top left, bottom right, bottom left. Top right, you know, just whatever order you want to go in. Um, dash down the line. As you can see here, I just the, the whole time that it's going. Always do it the whole time it's going. Um, and then just go to reset to now as your last keyframe. Uh, so, as you can see here, let's get rid of this Twixter because I don't feel like wanting to just sit there. So. It's just, here's what it looks like without. So it looks decent, but it, uh, it doesn't look very great. It looks kind of choppy still. So what you're going to do is you're going to go in here to RSMB. You do, you, uh, you do need RSMB for this. Um, you just put the default RSMB on there, and it will look pretty fucking nice when it, when it shakes. Um, there are other ways to do this. You can, you can go up here to uh, Properties. And uh, use stereoscopic 3D, but I don't really like doing that anymore because I found this out. It just looks a lot more like the After Effects ones, as you can see here. It looks really nice, especially if you take your time to do it. So yeah, uh, that's about it, guys. Uh, if you want to see something else in a tutorial, just I guess comment in the description if not I'll just make what I want to make so yeah I'll uh, see you guys later peace